Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we'll be looking at ellipses and I will demonstrate how to use the ellipse command in AutoCAD and also how to construct an ellipse using the concentric circles method. Okay, so firstly, we select the ellipse command or you can just type it as I did and I am entering the major axis at this point which is 2000 millimeters so I enter the major axis and then I enter half of the minor axis and in this case it's 700 millimeters so in total our major axis is 2000 and our minor axis is 1400 millimeters but just to ensure that everything is accurate i will show the dimensions using the dimension command like this and we can all see 2000 by 1400 before we move on i'm just gonna change the layer the ellipse and that's it that's how you draw an ellipse using the command in AutoCAD so now I'm gonna actually construct an ellipse using the concentric circles method and the major and minor axes will be the same as in our first ellipse. So the first circle I drew had a diameter of 1400 and the second circle has a diameter of 2000. So the next thing we want to do is divide our circle into 12 equal parts. So that's exactly what I'm doing now. I draw a horizontal and a vertical line. And then I'm going to do something very interesting. So I'm going to pull this line. It's at 60 degrees. And I'm going to pull this one. I don't have any point to snap to. So what I'm going to do is zoom in a bit. And pull the line a little past the edge of the circle and um, set the angle at 30 degrees. I'm just going to trim off the excess. I love the trim function. It is very, very nifty. I'm not going to bother to draw in all these circles, sorry, all these lines. So what I'm going to do is use the use the mirror command like this and yes i'm going to use the mirror command and duplicate the lines basically i'm going to do it again for the bottom half of the circle and there we have our circle is divided into 12 equal parts now I am going to insert some lines and these lines help to give us, help to identify the points for our ellipse. So you draw a vertical and a horizontal, we make sure that they cross. And wherever they intersect, that will be the point through which our ellipse will pass. All right, so we are doing it here again. I'm not gonna once more I'm not gonna bother drawing all these lines I'm simply going to highlight and mirror them so 
So the mirror command is one of those really, really um, awesome ones that you can use in TD. So I have mirrored all the lines as you can see and now we are about to begin drawing our ellipse. So we go to the, well I call it the spline command, it's under the draw tab. And I start at the bottom center of the circle so that the ellipse ends nice and smoothly. We go all the way around, clicking at each point. Clicking at each point, go around, come back down, and then we close back off at the bottom. So all that's left to do now is to change the layer and that's pretty much it. Alright, so this is how you construct a circle using the concentric circles method in AutoCAD.